All right, so in this problem, I have x to the power of 2 minus x to the power of 3 is equal to 12. So, what I'm first going to do is I'm going to rewrite this as I'm going to first start by adding x to the power of 3 and subtracting x to the power of 2 on both sides. So now I have x to the power of 3 minus x to the power of 2 plus 12 is equal to 0. Now I'm going to rewrite 12 here as 8 plus 4. Now 8, this is the same thing as 2 to the power of 3, and 4 is the same thing as 2 to the power of 2. So now if I switch the order of these, I get x to the power of 3 plus 2 to the power of 3 minus x to the power of 2 plus 2 to the power of 2 is equal to 0. And now from here, if I factor out negative 1, I get negative x to the power of 3 minus 2 to the power of 2 is equal to 0. Now if I have something in the form a to the power of 3 plus b to the power of 3, this is equal to a plus b times a squared minus ab plus b squared. So in this case, this is going to equal x plus 2 times x squared minus 2x plus 2 squared, which is 4. I have this minus x to the power of 3 minus 2 squared, or sorry, x to the power of 2 minus 2 squared, which is all equal to 0. Now, if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So x squared minus 2 squared, let me write all of this. This is equal to x plus 2 times x minus 2. Now from here, if I factor out x plus 2, I get x plus 2 times x squared minus 2x plus 4 minus x plus 2, which is equal to 0. And this simplifies to x plus 2 times x squared minus 3x plus 6 is equal to 0. So now this gives me two equations. I have x plus 2 is equal to 0, and I have x squared minus 3x plus 6 is equal to 0. So for x plus 2 equals 0, x is obviously equal to negative 2, so this is one solution. And for x squared minus 3x plus 6 equals 0, to solve this we have to use the quadratic formula, which is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So in this case, a is 1, b is negative 3, and c is 6. So I have negative negative 3 plus or minus the square root of negative 3 squared minus 4 times a times c all over 2a. And this simplifies to 3 plus or minus the square root of 9 minus 24 over 2. And if you notice, 9 minus 24, that's negative 15. So I'll have square root of negative 15. And you can actually take the square root of a negative number. So this is wrong. And my only solution is x equals negative 2. All right, so in this problem, I have x to the power of 21 plus x to the power of 14 is equal to 36. So I'm first going to rewrite x to the power of 21 as x to the power of 7 to the power of 3. And then we write x, x to the power of 14 as x to the power of 7 to the power of 2. Now this is equal to 36. And now I'm going to let the variable y equal to x to the power of 7. So now I have y to the power of 3 plus y to the power of 2 is equal to 36. Now if I subtract 36 on both sides, I get y to the power of 3 plus y to the power of 2 minus 36 is equal to 0. 
So now to solve this, I'm going to write this as y to the power of 3 plus negative 3a squared plus 4a squared minus 36 is equal to 0. So all I did was I simply rewrote y squared as negative 3a squared plus 4a, or sorry, this is y, not a. So I simply rewrote y squared as negative 3y squared plus 4y squared. And now from here, if I factor out y squared from y to the power of 3 plus negative 3y squared, I get y squared times y minus 3. And now if I factor out 4 from 4y squared minus 36, I get 4 times y squared minus 9. And now this is equal to 0. Now y squared minus 9, that's the same thing as y plus 3 times y minus 3. And now from here, if I factor out y minus 3, I get y minus 3 times y squared plus 4 times y plus 3, which is equal to 0. And now if I simplify that, I get y squared plus 4y plus 12 is equal to 0. So now this gives me two equations. I have y minus 3 is equal to 0, and I have y squared plus 4y plus 12 is equal to 0. So for y minus 3 equals 0, y is obviously equal to 3. And for y squared plus 4y plus 12 equals 0, well, if you actually put this in the quadratic formula, you get that you get the square root of a negative number, and you can't take the square root of a negative number, so this is wrong. And the only solution for y is y equals 3. So now going back, remember how we let y equal x to the power of 7. So we know that y equals 3 meaning 3 is equal to x to the power of 7. So if 3 equals x to the power of 7, all I have to do is take the power of 1, 7 on both sides, and I get the 7th root of 3 is equal to x. So this is my answer. All right, so in this problem, I have 40 to the power of 40 over 20 to the power of 20. So first off, I'm going to rewrite my x1 at 40 here as 20 plus 20. So now I have 40 to the power of 20 plus 20 over 20 to the power of 20. Now, if I have something in form a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So in this case, 40 to the power of 20 plus 20, I can write as 40 to the power of 20 times 40 to the power of 20. Now I have this over 20 to the power of 20. Now I can rewrite this as 40 to the power of 20 times 40 to the power of 20 over 20 to the power of 20. And 40 to the power of 20 over 20 to the power of 20, if I have something in the form a to the power of m over b to the power of m, this is equal to a over b to the power of m. So this can equal 40 to the power of 20 times 40 over 20 to the power of 20. This is equal to 40 to the power of 20 times 40 divided by 20 is obviously 20. So times 20 to the power of 20. Or sorry, 40 to the, divided by 20 is 2. So I have 2 to the power of 20. And now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m times b to the power of m, this is equal to a times b to the power of m. So 40 to the power of 20 times 20, 2 to the power of 20, that's going to equal 40 times 2 to the power of 20, which is equal to 80 to the power of 20. So this is my answer.